She was a vacuum assisted delivery. Um, she was transferred from a rural hospital down to the children's hospital. She was then diagnosed with subgaleal, subdural, and intraventricular hemorrhages. Um, she was in the NICU for two weeks, mm -hmm. recovering from those. Um, she had apneic seizures in the beginning associated with those as well. It was overwhelming. Very, yeah, it was hard to put into words because, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're, you're expecting to have this brand new life and now you don't know. It's like it's on pause. You don't know whether she's coming home or if she's going to be staying there forever. Like he said, we, we didn't know whether to celebrate life or to prepare for death. The care was outstanding. Um, we, she's alive because of the wonderful care that we received at the Children's Hospital. The, the wisdom and the, the quick thinking of the doctors is what saved her life. At no point did I feel like I wish our daughter could be at a different facility. I felt like we were at the place that it, it has the most expertise available. It, it was very reassuring. They were patient. Um, they were understanding. The staff was really helpful when they were, they would offer, you know, for, for us as parents to assist with the care. And the more that we could assist with the care, the more beneficial it was to us. It was time for us to interact with our baby and to have that experience while still being in the intensive care unit. That was really helpful. Yeah, it didn't feel like our daughter was on display. It, it felt like we could actually you know, start the parenting process and, and be involved with the medical staff instead of just, you know, as, as a visitor to their domain. Mm -hmm. so it was the staff involving us was a big part of her care. Um, we felt like we were part of the care team. Even just coming in and being able to change her diapers and weigh them for staff and be able to write that on the board to be able to heat up her bottles and help with feeding, even if it was through a feeding tube. I felt like I was helping in her care by being included in parts like that. It felt like you could communicate almost directly with like the highest medical staff there. Being a part of rounds was a big, big part of that as well. Yeah, especially being invited, almost being, you know, said, hey, this is when rounds is. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, and to show up, it was, it was very nice because there, there was no, there was no uh, secondhand information. A lot of the time, it was right out of the right out of their mouths. Mm -hmm. It was excellent. They would talk in our terms to make sure that we would understand and, and make sure that we didn't have any additional questions. One morning, we had one of the doctors came in to just do their general morning assessment of the baby, and he was very patient, very kind. And when he put the stethoscope on, he actually was pretending to talk to her. Um, and then he would say, you know, mom, she just told me that she wants a princess party for her third birthday. And it just, you know, that, that simple interaction was amazing. Um, there was another morning that same doctor came in and actually took the time to read her a book. That was, I know he's a busy person and the fact that he took time to do that was amazing. It really made me feel like I had a connection to that doctor, made me feel like my baby was being well cared for. Definitely take time for yourself. Don't be afraid to take a break, step out of your baby's room and just regain your thoughts, take a break and then come back. That's really important. There was a few times that Brandon would get me out of the hospital and we would just go out to eat and it would just take my mind off of it and kind of regain that focus. Um, another big thing that a nurse had actually told us was to always take pictures, even on the bad days, because someday you're going to look back at those pictures and see how far your baby has come. And that's incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm not much of a journaler, but you mentioned how much just journaling your thoughts and, and kind of therapeutic that is. Yeah, journaling and, and writing down questions for the medical staff mm -hmm. and then even just keeping like the statistics of their birth weight and stuff and, and seeing how far they come mm -hmm. just by journaling is a big part of that as well. 